Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We almost didn't. We just... kept moving. And nobody helped you along the way? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So... ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I was unhappy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. 
I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stop caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I know you are, Karen. That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried. But I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. I mean... I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. 
I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? Honestly, I didn't feel anything. I just kind of deleted you. And nobody would blame you. Not me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. I gotta change my dressing. This thing fucking hurts. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So... You feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel.
Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely... special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and... I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, I, I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch, in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh... We have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel, okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. 
What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. So, did you grow up out of here? No, in another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Okay. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. A closed door is a closed heart, she says. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's just so full of memories and stuff. The moat and the bean. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Confide and convince? Fifteen steps to a good speech. <laughs> yeah. Nice read for a saleswoman. Hmm. <laughs> Lizbeth sure likes to be on pictures. Evenings in here must be so much fun. Hmm. Might be enough to open that door.
This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? <sighs> Nothing here. Does she even believe in any of this? Mm. <sighs> Nothing interesting. I swear, even her bed looks stern. Sean. <sighs> yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. <sighs> Got it. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Okay. I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. What a great fucking family portrait. Don't see anything of interest. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. He looks happy. Fuck! I can't believe I missed it. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So 
so much for secrecy. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. The Book of Daniel? So much for a hot dog, man. Huh. <laughs> They're so cute. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh no. No, that's total bullshit. And creepy. This is quite the change from Power Bear and friends. <sighs> Locked, of course. Shit. Maybe it opens the other door. Must be a way to break it. Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah, she keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like... Sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... Wanted to cure you from... Being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Didn't you... Tell your parents? <laughs> you kidding? They wanted her to do that. Mom and Dad thought I had a demon inside. So did I. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave go see the world and figure things out. I 
I don't really get her, Sean. But Lisbeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be onto you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. What are you doing here, punk? Huh? Stop! Let him go, Nicholas! Ah! You're trespassing too, you little fag. You were always trouble. I'll deal with you later. Now come with me, you shithead. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. Speak to me. <clears throat> Reverend! Sean! What's going on? <sighs> Reverend, he was going through your stuff in your office. Jacob let him in, but I took care of that, Judas. Oh, Sean. Little lost lamb. How could you desecrate holy lamb? Sean! You okay? Huh? Yeah. Don't worry. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. Didn't you hear the Reverend? Nicholas, Sean is just confused. We forgive the sinners. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. <laughs> it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where- Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed 
with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your god all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Ugh! Holy shit. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. I know. She went to see doctors for herself when she was in pain. She never waited for a miracle when she was in danger. What? Is that... Is that true? Reverend Mother? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me. And to you. There's no place for you. Look around you. Do you really want this? It's fine. We've been the worst places since we left Seattle. You found your home here, Daniel. Don't let him trick you. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay, but... You're not ready, Sean. Uh. See what you have done! Hey, Inano. Uh. Back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop! Uh. Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need to. Sean! He must learn. Listen. I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sean! Don't listen to him. He left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <clears throat> Don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> if I 
could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. What are you You're doing? You're gonna kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing, nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know it. Uh, please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him alone! Daniel! Listen to him! I won't stop! No matter what she does! I'll come right back! Again! And again! <coughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up! Now! Don't move! Just stop! If you want to kill me, then do it! I'm not afraid! Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead! What? Shoot me in the face! And live with me! No! Stop! <laughs> someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. I said move, or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. Open the door, Inan. Daniel. After all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Ugh.
This is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? Yeah. I think. <laughs> 